Hi guys, it's Sterling Spectre here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Eternity Coin. Before the video starts, I want to mention that I have donation addresses set up if you guys want to support the channel. They are in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. So before we get into how to mine Eternity Coin, let's first have a look at the background of the coin and what it focuses on achieving. If we take a look at the website, we can see that this coin is engineered to scale and last. It's an easily accessible blockchain for the global public. We can see here that the chain has done over 30 million transactions, 3,000 active developers and 360,000 blocks mined. The coin was launched in 2016 but only launched to the main net in 2018. As seen here, we are looking to introduce their new hyper chain soon, which will allow for scaling of the network if the coin is adopted further. The hyper chain will also still run on the back of proof of work and Bitcoin blockchain. They have made it possible to execute smart contracts off chain. I'm not sure how this works, but you could have many uses for this. In a nutshell, it's a scalable and secure at every level and is going to get better with development improvements. They also offer a bunch of development tools for others who want to make apps for the blockchain. The last thing I want to point out from their website is their very low gas fees. I can personally say that they are very cheap as I have used their network for transferring coins. A cool thing that you can also do with your wallet is to claim a unique wallet username. This is unique to you and is part of the blockchain so it proves which wallet is yours. I know you can name your wallets on things such as MetaMask but this physically puts it onto the blockchain. It just gives an extra way to verify that the wallet address that you're sending is the correct one. So if we take a look on coin market cap, we can see that the price of one coin is around 7 to 8 cents. The coin has a market cap of 28 million and the max supply is 536 million coins. And already 400 million have been mined. If we look at the markets, we can see that we can trade this coin on Gate.io and MEXC, just to name a few exchanges. Last thing is that the AE team are actually giving away 2,500 coins to people who make memes with the coin involved. I think this is a funny and good way for the community to get more involved with the project. It also doubles up as a great marketing strategy as we all know memes are one of the best ways to grab people's attention. Now we have gone through the basics of the coin, let's get into how to mine it. We need three main things, a wallet, a miner and a mining pool. There are many wallets you can choose from and the Eternity website shows which ones support the coin. You can use any of these and I made my first address on the iPhone app. So go ahead and download then set up your wallet. You'll want to have your wallet address in a notepad on your computer because we'll need it when setting up the miner. Next step once we have our address is to pick a miner. We can use either MB miner, G miner or for AMD cards you can use LOL miner. The setup is pretty much the same for every miner and they all have a percentage fee of 2%. I'm gonna be using MB miner just because I find this easiest. If we type in MB miner into Google, the GitHub will show up. Just go ahead and download the latest version and unzip the file. This should give a bunch of pre-made batch files that are for different coins. We are looking for the star AE file. So this is our miner file. We want to edit this, so right click and hit edit on the file. You'll also need to let this program through your firewall as it's a command prompt program. Now we take our wallet address from earlier and copy and paste it over the wallet address we see here, just like this. Next step is to choose a mining pool. If we head over to mining pool stats, we can see that there are three pools. I'm going to be using the two miners pool, but Wooly Pooly offers a worldwide server range. But because I'm in the EU, I'm going to be using two miners. You can also solo mine on this coin because it requires a small hash rate. So if you want to do solo mining, you can also go on two miners. But I'm going to be showing how to pool mine. So we want to select the server. I'm going to be using this one as the other one is for nice hash. As I said, if you live in the US, you want to go over to the Wooly Pooly pool because I'm in the EU. I'm obviously using two miners. We now want to copy the server and the port and paste it over the server and the port in the miner file like this. Now the file is set up, we can exit and save out. Then double click this file to start mining. You'll know that it started working because the network will confirm a share. From here, you can overclock your cards to get a better hash rate. If you're having any problems, please join my Discord server. I'll help you guys out in there. The link for that is in the description below. So now once you're up and mining, you can check out how your mining is doing by going to your mining dashboard. To do this, all you want to do is copy and paste your wallet address 
into the search bar at the top of the two miners page, like this. Here is your dashboard and it shows basic information about your miner such as the hash rate and the amount of AE mined so far. The minimum payout is 5 AE so it's very low and the gas fees are so low that two miners will cover the payout fee. Two miners is always a great pool to use as many of the payout fees are covered for different coins. As you can see here, the hash rate is in gigabits per second instead of mega hash. So if you want to know the hash rates you can expect from your cards then I'll go over them now. If we look on miner stat we can get a rough idea of the profits. Obviously the 3090 and the 3080 are at the top with a revenue of around $1.30. Then we have an unexpected card with the 2080 Ti, which makes around a dollar a day. Then if you're mining with a Titan V, you can also expect a dollar a day. Then the list is followed by various 30 series cards. But the one that stands out for me is the 1080 Ti, which is around five years old and is still a very powerful card. As you can see here on this algorithm, it beats some 30 series cards, making around 75 cents a day. We also have some AMD cards in the mix, but they aren't really good at making much profit on this algorithm. So to really profit on the coin, you need powerful cards. Remember that these are just profits from today's price and can change over time. But you also have to do your own research and test your own personal cards. Overall, I think AE is a good project, but the adoption for the coin isn't enough yet for it to become what it's supposed to be. Remember, if you have any problems, then join the Discord and like the video for more content.